Hey guys, what's up? It's Am I Bald here, coming at you guys with another video, another Let's Play. This is episode 2, I, I think, and um, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't make a video for you guys uh, in the past uh, past two days. I know I'd be say I said that I make them very frequently, but you know, I was sick and then you know stuff happened, and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, I told you guys that I would start off with prayer, um, sorry, I didn't really get to, uh, get to start, you know, I was a bit lazy, and boom, <laughs> 43 prayer, guys, uh, you know, it took a lot, like, less than a day, you know, it didn't take too long, uh, yeah, and, you know, I, I didn't really train any other combat skills, anything else that would advance my level, so, uh, now I'm level 8, so, uh, you know, like, it's pretty low level, uh, for someone with 43 prayer, you know, well, it is a low level, it's the lowest that you can get, I think, uh, unless Soul Wars has prayer points, or anything else, anyways, anyways, um, I just wanted to maybe show you guys how to uh how how to advance your prayer the right way i'd say uh the wrong way in my like you know the wrong way would be uh i guess putting them on the ground you know like burying them on the ground that's not the right way to, to advance prayer it does give you xp but it's not the right way but uh yeah let me just show you uh i'm gonna give the example of just putting one bone but you guys should basically have a full inventory. Um, I researched it, and if you guys want 43 prayer from one, uh, using big bones, which I suggest using because it's not it's not very expensive, and you know it has enough XP, not like normal bones. You know, it's kind of a mix between I'd say big bones and normal bones. It's right in the middle. But um, yeah, I calculated it, and it would be about. You need about 700, uh, 700, 988 bones uh, on a gilded altar to uh, to uh, get 43 prayer with both of the torches lit. And yes, guys, this is a, a gilded altar, uh, <laughs> a gilded altar guy. But yeah, I put this in my notes. <laughs> um, around yeah, so it's it's around 1,465. XP per inventory with all of the torches lit and I never uh, offer I'd say offer a bone unless both of the uh, of the torches are lit because that for me is just a big waste of experience and I take my money very seriously uh, in this game I don't like to waste money very much yeah uh, but yeah around 988 big bones for 43 pair the, you know obviously everyone messes up so uh, Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's my friend. Yeah, be right back. <laughs> okay guys. Um but uh basically what I suggest is you teleport to well you know what I'll show you on uh, the world map. Oh my god, everyone is messaging me. Oh, okay, later, 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 later. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where are the video things on the top? Not there. Ah. Okay, anyways. Continue. Okay. Gotta make this quick now. This is really slow. Okay, so basically, um, I get I'd say go to the Grand Exchange, uh, get a dual ring, dueling ring, with uh one or eight charges, whatever. For this, I if you don't, you know, if if you're very uh consistent with what you with what you do, um, you don't have to get more than uh, one charge because you're just gonna be here the whole time. But you know, if you like to go back and forth to you know the bank, maybe. You know, whatever, just uh, get, I, I suggest get eight charges. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so with your dual ring, I uh, suggest that you uh, teleport. It'll say Castle Wars Arena. Teleport there. You'll be right here. Okay? Basically, all you have to do is walk out, walk down the bridge, 
and then turn to your right. This case would be east. Okay, so you go east, and then once you hit the, the end of the river thing, I guess, <laughs> walk up, you'll see a door. And this is the entrance to Yanil. This is an important place for, I'd say, gilded altars and house parties. A lot of people come over here for house parties. Uh, but yeah, basically what you want to do, if you didn't already get your bones from the bank in the Castle Wars, uh, or uh, Verrock when you started to get your dueling ring or whatever, you just go to the bank over here, and this is where you'll start. This is where I am right now, at the Yenil Bank. Uh... God. Wow. Sorry, you guys have to wait for this. Um, yeah, so this is where I am right now. Uh, so basically, you'll have your bones in your inventory, and you just have to walk down. Just follow where I'm going. Wow, I think I'm catching a cold. Big snowstorm today. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Basically, when you're here, you're gonna wanna look for someone that's advertising a G altar that uh with uh, lit uh, lanterns in uh in their house. So you see this guy is asking, instead of someone advertising, this guy is asking uh, for a G-Alter. You see Paul Z. So Paul Z, uh, basically what you want to do is teleport to a friend's altar, uh, to a friend's uh, 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 portal. And just put the name of the guy that advertised his house. You see Dr. Chives. Wow. Uh, Dr. Chives, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. So, there's no place like home. Okay. So, now you're here. Uh, basically, what you want to do is run up to the altar. Check if uh, the lanterns are lit. And these are the two lanterns. And you'll know that they're lit if there's smoke coming out of it. Don't click on the bone. Basically, just, just right-click and click. Okay, guys. Just give me a second. So, yeah, guys. Sorry. That was the... I was just a few, few friends uh, making fun of me. So uh, just like to give a nice shout out to uh, Mike and Kev for being uh, assholes. <laughs> uh, fuck you guys. Anyways, um, you want to see that the two lanterns are lit? Uh, then you just click on use big bones to alter. Oh, uh, well, usually there would be a menu over here, a big uh, a thing that would pop up, and all you have to do is click on the bone. Since I have one, I, I had one, I guess, it went, you know, went quick. But anyways, yeah, that's what you want to do, guys. And then you run back to the bank, get your bones, and do it all again. And yeah, that's it. That's all, uh, that's all you have to do. And you just have to do that repeatedly, repeatedly until you have 43 prayer. Make sure that you, st I, I, what I do is I'd stock up on the 988 bones right away. Instead of going to the bank all the time, uh, like going to Grand Exchange all the time or wherever you buy your bones all the time, going back and forth. Yeah, it's better to just stay here. So then you just focus on one thing. Anyways, next video, uh, I'll be coming up with uh, a video for the quest Monk's Friend. Because I want to start questing. Uh, and then I'll be... Uh, yeah. Monk's friend. I'll, I'll be doing this quest next video. And showing you guys how to do it. If you don't have any skills. I think this... I think that this is a good... A good quest to start on. Uh, just to get some quest points I guess. And maybe just for fun. Yeah. I'll just be doing it for fun. Because I, I don't know what else to put on these videos. But, uh, yeah. Once again, I'd like to thank Michael and Kevin for being douchebags. All right. Thanks, guys. I love you. All right. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Please uh, comment, like this video, and uh, subscribe.
uh, just like to thank for uh, say thank you for uh, all the views that are coming in. You know, even though it's not like a thousand views, a thousand or more views. You know, every every I like you know I like every viewer I get. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks guys. This is Am I Bald signing out.